Hello everyone, back with an IRS tax refund update. On today's episode, as we continue to monitor the latest with those refund delays, the IRS has released the latest batch of tax refunds, so we will recap that. Meanwhile, with the increase of taxpayers reporting they are finally receiving those tax refunds, comes additional reports from some indicating reduced refunds, in some cases significant amounts, so we will recap some of the key reasons why that is happening, and we'll check in on the progress of those still waiting on amended returns and outstanding unemployment tax refunds. Starting off with the latest news that the next batch of tax refunds has been transmitted by the IRS to banks nationwide, who are part of the July 20th batch. Among those in the group include e-filers from January, February, and March, and paper filers from January and February. Taxpayers who have bank accounts with Bank of America, Citibank, Credit Karma, and Chime have reported receiving those direct deposits in their accounts. If you've not received your direct deposit by July 25th, you may need to initiate a payment trace to locate that payment. Also, it should be noted there are still many January and February filers out there who are not part of this latest batch, as it appears the IRS is still not processing those tax returns in the order in which they were received. So that is why we continue to see tax filers in March receiving the refunds before those who filed in January and February. Now, with the increased reports of those finally receiving their refunds, comes those who are indicating their expected refund amounts have been adjusted. If you're among the impacted group, you will see similar notifications like seen here when checking your refund status results as well as an eventual letter from the IRS indicating the exact reason behind the reduced refund. The common reasons for those adjusted refunds this year include taxpayers who did not properly enter the corrected amount of advanced child tax credit payments received in 2021 when filing their tax returns, those claiming the recovery rebate credit when the IRS already showed they in fact received that third stimulus payment, and taxpayers who have other past due debts such as child support, another federal agency debt, or past due state income tax debt. If you did not receive that third stimulus payment and were unsuccessful in claiming the recovery rebate credit on line 39 of your tax return, because the IRS has indicated you already received that payment, you will need to initiate a payment trace to locate that payment. Once it is confirmed that you did not receive it, the IRS will be able to reissue that payment. If you've not requested a payment trace by phone, then it is advised you fill out IRS Form 3911 in regards to that payment trace, at which point you can mail or fax the form into the IRS. Given the current correspondence backlog of five months with the IRS, the recommendation is to fax that form in. Now, one of the ongoing tax issues this year continues to be those waiting on their amended tax returns to be processed and refunds issued. The good news appears that the 2021 amended returns are being processed at a much faster rate than those from 2020, where wait times exceeded one year. We continue to see significant progress on amended returns in the month of July, with the average wait time currently running at four to five months. It also has to be noted that for those of you waiting on amended returns, once your return is finally processed, you will be receiving that refund by paper check, even if you indicated to receive a direct deposit on your return. The IRS system is still not programmed to do that, so again, you will be receiving that refund by mail. We are also hearing from taxpayers who are still waiting on those unemployment tax refunds. Now, at this point, most of those have in fact been issued, and there is conflicting messages by the IRS on what those still waiting should do next. Previously, the IRS had indicated taxpayers did not have to amend their tax returns, and instead the IRS would do it automatically for all impacted taxpayers. Now, while the IRS is still indicating for some taxpayers to wait, there are others who are reporting that the IRS has informed them they must amend their tax returns first in order to receive that refund. If you're still waiting on an unemployment tax refund, it is recommended at this point you reach out to the Taxpayer Advocates Office or your local congressional representative to confirm, in fact, if you need to amend your tax return. And finally, we've seen an increase of reports from taxpayers indicating they have received an additional 60-day notice, like seen here, from the IRS, with some now having received a total of four of them. Given the massive backlog, it is expected more of these notices will be sent out over the course of the summer and into the fall. Let us know in the comment section below what problem you're currently experiencing, and thank you to everyone who continues to provide updates on their particular situation. In the meantime, we will keep monitoring the situation for further developments, so make sure to click on the thumbs up and subscribe button below for future updates on this channel, and thanks for watching.